the tau syndrome is trisomy. Go ahead and put that in the chat. Trisomy what? What number? Excellent. If you're saying 13, you're absolutely correct. I remember that puberty is at 13. So Patau syndrome, P and puberty. Now with Patau syndrome, what are the facies you're going to get? You're going to get microcephaly, cleft palate, micropthalmia, which is basically going to be small eyes. In Patau syndrome, the MSK defects are going to be these rocker bottom feet. As you can see, this looks like the bottom of a rocking chair. From a GI standpoint, you're going to have this outpouching of the peritoneum that is covered by the peritoneal membrane, and that's known as omphalocele. And from a cardiac standpoint, you're going to have VSD and PDA. So what I like to do when it comes to a lot of these syndromes, just as a study tip, is I like to really hone in on the key defining feature, what I call the sentinel feature, the defining feature of that genetic syndrome. And for me, Patau syndrome, the defining feature in all vignettes is that there is midline defects. And that's important because as you can see, midline defects, cleft palate, midline defects, omphalocele, midline defects, VSD. And so you should try to categorize and learn a lot of these syndromes by first honing in on what is that high yield defining feature.